Hi, I'm Levin Hornischer. I'm an assistant professor at the Munich Center for Mathematical Philosophy at LMU Munich. And I'm currently also a fellow at the Institute for Advanced Study here in Amsterdam from June to October in 2024. And I'm Thomas Eichhardt, I'm Professor of Philosophy and of Computer Science by Courtesy at Stanford University. And I'm also a fellow here in the same project as, as Levin, and we're part of a larger project on logic and AI that includes um, also Johan van Bentham, Balde Tinkata, Frank van Harmel, and Sari Malgakane. And um, we're very excited to be here. My uh, research and teaching is on the theoretical foundations of artificial intelligence. And we all have seen that artificial intelligence or AI has made a lot of progress in the last years, especially if we think of AI systems like ChatGPT. But we still struggle to really understand what the underlying principles are of these machines that make, make them work so well. And uh, understanding this uh, theory that is behind uh, these AI systems is a really exciting uh, open problem that's in the, in the intersection of computer science, mathematics, philosophy, cognitive science and many other disciplines. And sort of finding that I think is a really exciting research problem that I'm, I'm working on and my approach to that is that I look at the theory that we already have for laptops like the, to the usual computations we're used to and then try and see whether we can extend that to also cover these novel AI systems. Uh, I also work in this intersection between logic and cognitive science and um, AI. And one particular project that uh, some of us are working on in the context of this fellowship um, brings insights from logic and from cognitive science to um, deep learning systems, trying to understand um, you know, what these things are doing when they're engaged in complex reasoning tasks. And one of the key ideas there is that um, it's helpful to target the right levels of abstraction, whether we're talking about brains or complex systems that have been trained on large amounts of data, like AI systems. And so um, we're bringing some of those tools to, to help um, with the interpretability problem and to help kind of uncover um, how these things are doing what they're doing. And in the re reverse direction, um, we get a lot of new problems and new uh, challenges um, for, for logic itself and for the theoretical end of the, end of the project. So um, uh, we're kind of excited to kind of pursue both of those directions during, during some of this time. So in this project on logic and AI that we're working here at IS, we look at, into how these two fields, logic on the one hand and artificial intelligence on the other hand, can productively interact uh, to solve some of the main issues that uh, artificial intelligence currently has, like that it's difficult to explain what these deep neural networks are doing and uh, to, to uh, understand uh, what these AI systems, how they behave um, and how they learn. And we just had a workshop uh, where we had experts um, coming in and discuss their different takes on that, uh, that uh, interaction. And uh, it was a very exciting workshop to just see like all the, the whole landscape of, of problems. And now in this project, we want to work on uh, identifying and classifying what we think are the most important, important problems uh, for the future in that field. Yes, and one thing that was uh, very much on display at the workshop is just uh, how exciting this interface is at, at this moment in time. We have really genuinely new problems for, for logic, you know, tr the tradition that goes back thousands of years, you know, problems that we um, you know, hadn't really thought of before but now arise out of um, kind of the, the needs and, and phenomena involved in machine learning, AI, all of that kind of thing. And in the other direction, as Levin already mentioned, important applications of logic back into um, both the, the design and, and the analysis of, uh, of machine learning systems. So, um, you know, please do stay tuned for, the, uh, uh, for, for what more is to come.